a food charter is examining all elements of the food, you know, called the food chain, you know, in the city of Cardiff, in this case, um, looking at the different elements, looking at where we can move towards, again, what we'd call a sustainable food city, that is, that we produce food, uh, grow food in a way that meets our needs today, but doesn't uh, in any way damage the capacity of future generations to meet their needs. And the trouble with current mainstream agriculture, high pesticide use, high herbicide use, it's damaging the soil, it's creating a lot of greenhouse gas, it is not sustainable, it is damaging the capacity of future generations. At the moment, you know, you've got to imagine we're past peak oil, I think pretty well we can all agree on that, 20, 30 years, not that long. Will there be any oil around? And if not, where will we get our food from? Because we don't grow our food in soil, we grow our food in oil. Uh, for most mainstream agriculture is utterly dependent on fertilizer, herbicides, pesticides, and large numbers of food miles. So we're trying to create a template for a food system that would be about much more locally grown, would be about grown in a way that is actually sustainable, that, that uh, protects the biosphere. It's the most common sense, you know, obvious sort of thing you can think of in a way but it's just that our food system is largely insane but we're sitting here in a, a, a small okay the amount of food that comes out from this garden is relatively small but there is empty land all over the city of Cardiff which could grow food that food would either be free or very very cheap because it could be grown by the people that eat it you know if you have an allotment yes you have to put time into it but it doesn't cost you anything um, you know I went out to Havana a couple of years ago and it was fantastic to see how much food can actually be grown within a city they had to do because their oil supply was cut off because they were getting most of it from Russia now they had another advantage out there which is a lot of Sun and particularly this year uh, you know um, everything is really really um, behind and not growing very well but the fundamental idea that we can grow an awful lot more food um, Orchard Cardiff are showing that there are apple trees all over this city why are we importing 90% of the apples that we eat we, we, we could be growing loads of apples we are growing loads of apples but most of them get thrown away so you know um, there's a lovely mapping project that Transition Cardiff are doing because Transition Cardiff are looking at how do we make this transition from being you know a highly oil dependent kind of economy to being a more sustainable economy uh, mapping uh, bits of empty land mapping food growing projects match mapping community growing that's going on and in our case our you know being the, our, our little social enterprise that runs the farmers markets in Cardiff we've rented five acres of land about eight miles out of town um, we're trying to grow stuff there that we'll sell in the city when the price of oil goes up the food that's being shipped in from Spain is not going to be cheap food anymore the era of cheap food is really and I think everybody that knows what they're talking about knows that we've had cheap food because of cheap oil and that era is coming to an end so we're trying to prepare for a future where food is going to cost more end of most parts of the world you know we're highly privileged in the relatively wealthy west to only pay 10 percent of our uh, you know our income generally on food a lot of places they pay 80 percent we're probably going to end up paying more like 25 30 percent and we better get used to the idea because that that's how it's going to be i'd like to see empty land all over the city just given as quickly as possible to people that want to grow it seems absurd to me that you've got a waiting list for allotments when number one most allotments you go into there are empty allotments in there anyway but number two you know let's really encourage let's let's be more radical let's be you know let's get Cardiff Council to think right you know in the same way that they did in in Cuba when the oil supply was cut off they designated land to people who were willing to use it to grow we should do the same invite people to make a bid Yes, I'll, I, if you give me that piece of empty land, I'll grow food on it. Great, go for it. Here's the land. Um, here's some seeds. You know, support them. Accept the fact that the status quo is not going to continue for much longer. So I'd like to see that. Uh, I, I suppose I'd like to see a greater awareness on the part of consumers so that they will buy more from local producers, support local producers, go more to farmers markets. Uh, it's the smart thing to do because not only is the food incredibly better and tastier and healthier, but you're putting money into the pockets of Welsh producers. You're strengthening the economy of your own country instead of giving it to a multinational that doesn't give a damn, uh, that just distributes it to shareholders, probably have it in Swiss bank accounts. You know, look, for goodness sake, let's, let's, um, let's support our own producers. Makes sense now and it'll make sense in the future because if we allow Welsh agriculture to disintegrate, we're going to be in a big mess when we suddenly need to produce a lot more of our own food.